Hello friends, myself Chilak Valoria. Uh, today I am going to explain computer data representation of computer organization and architecture subject. In today's topic, I will cover uh, three main points. First one is basic computer data types, second one is fixed point numbers and third one is floating point representation. First, basic computer data types. In basic computer data types, it is implemented in the computer system. First one is fixed point numbers, second one is floating point numbers. Now uh, in fixed point number you can say that all the integer values in floating point numbers you can say integer as well as uh, fraction values first fixed point representation fixed point representation converted into two part uh, signed integer and unsigned integer unsigned integer value is 0 to 255 it means all the positive numbers in signed integer the range of the signed integer is minus 127 to plus 127 it means positive as well as negative numbers uh, now we see uh, see one example of the fixed point representation. Uh, first, uh, one decimal uh, number is given. It is plus eight. It is converted into binary numbers, uh, and uh, it is converted into format of uh, eight bit binary numbers. So it is zero 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 one zero zero zero. Uh, last uh, f uh, left most significant bit. Uh, left most bit. Uh, it is called sine bit and rest of the bits are called magnitude uh, if uh, left uh, leftmost bit is uh, zero it means positive number if leftmost bit is minus sorry one it means negative numbers so now you can see both plus eight and minus eight second floating point representation in floating point representation when we enter any decimal fraction values it is converted into binary float values automatically so there are three fields in uh, floating point representations first one is sign bit second one is significant digit and third one is exponent now one uh, we uh, saw one example uh, let us to consider the number uh, 1 1 1 4 times 1 0 1 point 1 triple 0 double 1 0 now uh, it is converted into normalized form so point shifted to leftmost bit of the uh, given number so you can see over here one point triple one zero double one triple zero one one and zero into two raised to five uh, first bit is uh, shows the uh, sign of the particular number given number and the rest of the bits after the point it is called significant digit the base is two uh, you can also say scaling factors and the power of two it is called exponents now uh, floating point uh, representation first of all you have to uh, give a number uh, converted into a binary number then normalized form and then and then you can uh, convert into single precision and double precision numbers uh, now first uh, we show there are two i triple standard there are two i triple standard is uh, available for floating point numbers first one is 32 bit standard it is also called single precision representation the second one is 64 bit standard it is called double precision representation <coughs> Now, single precision representation. Uh, now you can see the structure of the single precision uh, single precision representation. Uh, uh, there are 32 bit word is available. Uh, first bit is sine bit. Now you can see that S. Now it is E dash. It is called exponent. It is 8 bit, and the rest of the bit it called mantissa. It is called 23 bits. Now E dash. It is the uh, not an only exponent bit. Uh, e dash is equal to exponent plus bias. Uh, here in a uh, single precision representation bias is 127 it is always fixed so e plus bias it is called e dash now double precision representation double precision representation convert it uh, 64 bit word uh, first boy uh, first bit uh, uh, is sine bit it is also one bit same as the single precision number uh, the uh, e dash bit is 11 bit so here e dash is equal to e plus bias here in double precision representation bias is 1023 and uh, rest of the 52 bit is mantissa now uh, take one example uh, uh, first example is uh, represent 1259 dot 125 it uh, it is one uh, given decimal number uh, it is converted into single precision and double precision format uh, there are four steps uh, step one converted decimal numbers into binary numbers. Uh, so you can uh, see over here 1259 it is converted into binary then 0 0.125 it is converted into binary and finally 1259.125 uh, decimal numbers converted over here into binary uh, after conversion of binary 
you can see over here the normalized form uh, 1.00111110 0 0 1 so you can say that uh, this uh, point is shift to the uh, left hand side uh, after the one so the here exponent is 10 and mantissa is particular and this is the sine bit now step number three first of all we convert into single precision representation here there are three fields in single uh, single precision representation first sine bit here our given number is positive so sign is zero uh, so you can put the value of over here sign bit is zero now exponent e is equal to 10 you can see over here e is equal to 10 exponent is 10 so fine e dash is equal to e plus 127 is equal to e exponent is equal to 10 plus bias is equal to 127 is, uh, is equal to 137 uh, it is decimal numbers it is converted into binary numbers uh, this is the binary numbers uh, put over here uh, in 8 bit format so it is called exponent it is called e days and the rest of the bits uh, after the point uh, this is rest of the bits of the after point it is called mantisha put over here mantisha uh, in this uh, field and the rest of the bit uh, uh, over here you can put 0 uh, because total length of the mantisha is uh, you can see over here, it is single precision it is 23 bit so uh, here uh, rest of the uh, bit of the mantissa put over here 0 now step number 4 convert into double precision representation first here uh, our number is uh, positive so s is equal to 0 again exponent is equal to 10 you can see over here 10 plus 1023 so 1033 it is converted into binary numbers then and then put mantissa in the rest of the fields so now uh, put in double precision format first uh, uh, our number is positive so put sign bit as 0 and then uh, put e dash value this is the e dash value put over here and then and then put mantisha so over here I have put mantisha values and rest of the bit of the mantisha is 0 thank you friends if you like my video please share and subscribe me on youtube channel for more videos